guys, Super Tentabuff here, and I'm here with a quick look at some pretty useful and uh, interesting little applications for iOS developers. Um, and I'm here with a two, I'm here with two little applications which I've downloaded from the Mac App Store. Um, links will be in the description of this video. Um, and I just think these two little applications are pretty useful for any iOS developer. They save time, and um, you know they're pretty useful. So I'm just going to go ahead and show them. So the first one is Unretina, and the basic principles of this application is pretty damn simple. So nowadays with the Retina display in the latest versions of our iOS devices, including the iPhone 4, um, the iPod Touch, and obviously newer devices which Apple will release in the future, um, one thing every iOS developer does now, and it's a pretty basic thing, you pretty much everyone, every iOS developer would do it, um, I shouldn't imagine why you don't want to do it because in the end they it makes your application look better and more high res on a retina display. Um, but basically one thing we all do now is we make two versions of every image we make. So for example if we made an image for a button um, we would make a at2x version and a non at2x version. So one would, one would be 100 by 100 let's say and the other one would be a 200 by 200 image and that would be the at2x version. Okay. And basically, the at 2x version is automatically used um, by any iOS device which has support for the Retina display. Um, and basically, well, I mean, it's really simple. It's higher resolution image. It will look better on a screen which can support that high res, um, high, that high resolution image. Okay. So one little thing which can get a bit annoying for iOS developers is, uh, you know, every time you make an image, you have to make export that image, and then you have to change the size and export that again and then you know if you use a lot of different images it can get very annoying so one little useful thing to do is just to make the app 2x version and then drop drag and drop that version that version of the image into this app called unretina it's really simple it just automatically exports a half the size version of your app 2x image um, to wherever you specify so let me just show you that here so um, if I just Copy this on my desktop, and I'm just going to call this whatever image at 2x. Okay, so here's my at 2x version of the image. If I just drag and drop this into Unretina, it will ask me where I want to export this image. I'll just select my desktop. There we go. It will export the image, and so here's the non-Retina version of this at 2x image. And as you can see, it's been resized for non-Retina iPhones. So it's pretty useful and you know I could you know you could just imagine for for example developers who use a lot of images in their applications um this can save time um so it's very useful indeed I use it a lot in all my iOS applications um and you can you know you can drag multiple images at once into this app as well it's not just one by one so that's very useful as well so this is something cool I like it's called Unretina and it's available on the Mac App Store links will be in the description of this video Okay. Now the other app I was thinking about is one called Iconizer. I just uh, open it for you now. Very simple app, but it's very useful indeed. Um, and it's once again it's available on the Mac App Store. So um, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to open up Pixelmator and I'm just going to make a 512 by 512 image and whatever. Let's just. Let's just do this, add a bit of text, add an Apple, Apple logo, mm -hmm. okay there we go, save this to the desktop and let's set PNG, okay so here we have a 512 by 512 image and basically the whole point of Iconizer is to make different sized images um, of that one image you have. Now um, with Iconizer it's mainly meant for just your, you know, just the icon um, of your application but you could technically use it for any image if you wanted to, a bit like Unretina, um, but you know, the, the the main aim of this application is just for the icon of your iOS application. So you simply drag your 512 by 512 image here, 
it automatically adds gloss to the application. It rounds the to the icon, sorry. It rounds the icon off and it makes different sized versions of the icon um, for different parts of the application. So we have a Retina version here for iPhone 4 and iPod Touch 4 generation devices. We have the iPad version of the icon. The we have a Retina Spotlight version for iPhone 4s <coughs> excuse me, and iPod Touch 4 generations. Um, we have a normal iPhone and iPod Touch icon, a iPad Spotlight icon, and a normal iPhone and iPod Touch Spotlight icon. And this is just great, you know, it saves you so much time. It adds some pretty nice gloss, although you can remove that if you want and just use the default gloss that you get uh, built into Xcode 4. I generally turn this off um, and just use the gloss provided by Xcode because I find that's a little bit better, it looks nicer. Um, and then when you're ready, you can you get well you get different options here. You can clear all, you can share the icons and so on. Um, or if you want to, you can simply drag and drop drag and drop the uh, particular icon you want. So in this case, maybe I want the normal iPhone and iPod touch icon. Just drag this to my desktop. Click replace in this case. Here we go, and here is my icon. So there we have it, guys. That's two little applications for your Mac. Um, Iconizer and Unretina, links will be in the description. These applications are available on the Mac App Store. Um, they're great little apps, they save time, and they're really easy to use. So I recommend them, go and check them out. Um, and thanks for watching this video. So until my next video, uh, I'll see you then. Bye.